Hey, it's Kev here, and I wanted to go over the Devo Knives Nip Drop. So tomorrow at 10, 19, sorry, tomorrow is October 19th at 1 p.m. Eastern. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on October the 19th, sorry. These will be dropping. You will be able to pick these up at three different websites, okay? So there's two dealer exclusives, and then the ones directly through us at Devo Knives. We're gonna do our best to direct you to the right place. I'm also gonna talk about which exclusive is at which location, and I'm gonna give you information to get discounts on all of these, okay? So you can get a 10% discount on every single one of these that is on this table right here, which is pretty dang sweet. I'm also gonna talk about the hardware kits, and uh, we shall get into it. So first off, universal things. All right, so. There is a price, and the price is $175, so $175 across the board, okay? So all of the retailers, which is White Mountain Knives, TraditionalPocketKnives.com, and then DevoKnives.com will have this listed for $175, so your price is the same no matter where you go, okay? You have 10% discount codes at all locations. So for White Mountain Knives, you use your favorite YouTuber's code, okay? Um, whether that be Lefty10 or some other channel that you prefer. I love a lot of YouTube channels, so I suggest you use the one for your favorite and support that person. For traditionalpocketknives.com, you're gonna use the code TPKNIP, and I will have this in the description. TPKNIP, N-I-P, will get you 10% off of the traditionalpocketknives.com exclusive NIP, okay? Now, you can also use your favorite YouTuber's affiliate link. So you may not get a discount on your order, but you'll be supporting that person. And then you can use your TPK NIP code anyway and get the 10% off. So I recommend you help a YouTuber out, whether it be myself or one of your other favorites. They should have, most might have a link to traditionalpocketknives.com, okay? For the devoknives.com drop, you can use your favorite YouTuber's link, just like White Mountain Knives, you can use whichever code you want. I don't want to go spilling them all out because I want to be fair here, but Lefty10 would work. I have that set up. I don't get commission on my own stuff, but that would work. Um, but please use your favorite YouTuber's link. They should have told you by now that they have one, and then you can use that, um, and you'll get 10% off, and the YouTuber gets a little kickback. Win, win. That's why I set it up that way, okay? So there you go. That's the discounts. They're across the board. 10% off, baby. Um, we can talk about the versions here. Um, this one is the White Mountain Knives exclusive. And this one has an all stonewashed titanium uh, look. Sorry, that was dumb. Stonewashed titanium scales. Stonewashed S90V. So every one of these has S90V steel. Has this beautiful milling right here and here. And this one has blue titanium accents. So pivot collars, backspacer, and clip are all titanium and they are anodized blue. All right, so that is the whitemountainknives.com exclusive. Then we have the traditionalpocketknives.com exclusive. This one is all murdered out, chaw. And that's PVD titanium on the handles. Then you have a black wash blade. So PVD coated blade, then it's tumbled to give it this nice black wash. We prefer a black wash because it just looks better. I think um, PVD on a blade kind of looks like paint. And then this will wear better as well because it's tumbled. And then you have all PVD hardware, pivot collars, backspacer, and clip. All right, so that's the traditionalpocketknives.com exclusive. Use code TPKNIP for 10% off on that one. And remember, White Mountain Knives, use your favorite code. Now, getting into the Devo Knives versions. So these will be on our website directly. We have what I call the Jack Sparrow. 
and that's because this is in black pearl camo carbon. Now, when you get the box, it's going to say double black, okay? Um, that's what we originally ordered, but it was a mix-up at camo carbon. We ended up with black pearl, and I'm pretty glad we did because it looks absolutely stunning. But black pearl, that's why I call it the Jack Sparrow. So this one has black pearl camo carbon, a belt satin S90V. So you have those beautiful grinds horizontal on the flats. In my opinion, this grind is as good as what I've seen from Riot or Best Tech. You have that beautiful hollow grind on all of these as well. Nice and thin and slicey on that S90V. I have carried these two nonstop for weeks. I've also carried these as well. Um, I just like the little bit of lighter weight here personally. Um, but none of them are heavy. These are 1.8 to 2 ounces on the carbon fiber, and these are 2.8 ounces on the titanium. The other version here is what we're calling the Purple Nurple. So the Purple Nurple Nip <laughs> has uh, purple and lavender camo carbon. So that's why when you look at this camo carbon, you'll see some purple, and then you'll see what some people say is blue, but it's really lavender, which is like a very bright purple almost looks bluish so you can see some purple down here and then a lot of that lavender there and it depends on the one you get and no uh, unfortunately i can't go through every one and pick one for you that has the most purple i know that's what some people are going to want and i wish i could guys i really wish i could um but you're just going to have to go with the one you get and that's purple and lavender camo carbon that beautiful belt satin again and then you have purple titanium pivot collars clip and backspacer as you can see this clip is reversible so you just have that little screw hole down there that shows when uh you flip it over or whichever way you have it we think that looks pretty schnazzy um and that's the versions so Again, these will be on our website, devoknives.com. This one will be at traditionalpocketknives.com, and this one will be at whitemountainknives.com. Now, um, there, we're not going to have all the versions at different places, so you're going to go to this site for this one, this site for this one, and our site for these two, okay? Um, there are a couple of small dealers that pick some up at Blade West. So if you miss out for whatever reason... On the camo carbons, uh, these I can't sell to other people, but um, the camo carbons, there's a few that NAF sale picked up, and there's a few that a new dealer, UrbanCutlery.com, I believe, ordered uh, or picked up at the show. Very limited amounts, but if you guys are interested and you miss out, just wait for them to drop theirs. I don't think it's going to be the same day or anything. Um, but if you go to Urban Cutlery, you can use my code LEFTY10. So just saying, you could get 10% off there. NAF sale, I don't know about, and I don't know when they're dropping or anything like that. So just you know, follow those guys if you miss or something. I'm hoping there's enough for everybody. We ordered more this time. So we're trying really hard to find the right balance of enough to sell and make sure everybody gets them but not too many that we can't sell them and then we're sitting on them. Um, so with the Growler V2, we ordered 400. Um, with the Nips, we ordered 500. Um, so hopefully there's enough for everybody after the show and everything. Um, and we're going to hold some back. Um, I think I have around 150 between these two to sell. So there will be about 150 of the carbon fiber nips on the website, close to half and half. I have a few more black than I do purple. Um, so there's that. And then I don't want to spill the quantities on these. You can kind of do some math there, but um, I don't know if that's my place to say. So um, there's not a ton out there, okay? Um, needless to say, right, uh, there's about... 450 total that'll be dropped tomorrow um, at 1 p.m. Eastern between the three websites. I hope that helps explain everything. We're really trying our best to make sure everybody can get one. Hopefully that is the case uh, and we'll see how it goes. Now, I do want to mention on our website, 
I am going to do something where I'm going to hold back like 15 of them, okay? So at 1 p.m., I'm going to put them all up except for like 15 of each. And I'm just doing that to see if we have any issues with Sezzle because in the past, uh, if it turns out there's a lot of you guys who want these, which I have no idea, um, and there's a bunch of people using Sezzle and then other people using Apple Pay, it holds the product in the cart when you use Sezzle. So we've had problems where it oversells and I don't ever want to tell anybody that they paid for something and then they can't get it. So I'm going to hold back 15 of each and then I'll just add those in as needed. Um, so you should, we should not have any issues with that. And um, I just want to mention, I'm going to be doing a little something there. It shouldn't affect anything on your end, but um, yeah, hopefully it goes very smoothly. Another thing to note on this guy at White Mountain Knives, uh, when they do drops, their website doesn't update right away. So at 1 p.m. Eastern, these are going to go live. And unless you're in the product page, it's going to say notify me or whatever. It's not going to show in stock right away. So you want to make sure you go to White Mountain Knives, you search NIP or whatever, and then you click on that and go into the product page. Make sure you're in the product page. And then it will actually show in stock and you can add to cart. And then after like 20 minutes or so, their site updates. So I just want to put that out there because we had some issues with it on the Growler V2. People were a little upset because they missed out on a certain version um, because the website doesn't update right away. It's just how their site works. And um, yeah, so I'm just telling you ahead of time, you're going to want to click on the product itself and go in there. Don't sit on the search page and refresh, okay? Um, traditional pocket knives, I believe, is pretty straightforward. 1 p.m., just go there, buy it. TPK nip for 10% off. So um, those are the versions. That's the price. That's the discounts. That's everything. Okay. Now the hardware kits, these will be only sold at devoknives.com. So if you guys want to uh, pimp out your nip a little bit, pimp your nip, is that a good way to say that? I don't know. You can do so. We have four kinds. We have blue, purple, bead blast, and black or PVD. These are all titanium kits. They include pivot collars, clips, and backspacers, okay? So there's no hardware in here. Uh, well, they're hardware kits, but you get what I'm saying. There's no screws in there. It's just pivot collar, clip, and backspacer. And um, obviously, if you get the purple one, you know, maybe blue would work with the purple. It could work because it does have that little bit of sort of blue in there. Um, obviously, the blue would work really well with the black, and it would work really well with the blackout. I should say Jack Sparrow, the blackout. And I was calling this one the tidbit because I love Christmas Vacation and I love the line where he says, it's a tidbit nipply in here, right, Russ? <laughs> Russ! Uh, so yeah, the blue would work on all of them except for probably this one because it's already blue. What's the point, right? Unless you want backup. The purple, obviously, would work on all of them except for this one because you don't, again, unless you want a backup set. The Bead Blast is probably my favorite, guys. This is the one I think would look absolutely sexy on the Blackout one from Traditional Pocket Knives. It would look sexy on the uh, Jack Sparrow that you can get from us directly. I think it would work pretty well on this guy as well. Eh. I don't know. I don't know, because that's stonewash, and this is bead blast. I'm sure it would work. It'd be a very uh, monochrome at that point. And it would probably work on this as well if you just want the purple camo, but you don't like the purple tie. You know, it would work on that. We have really limited amounts of this one. I think I have six sets. And um, like I said, with the sezzle thing, I'm probably only going to put a few up. Um, so we'll see how that goes. The black, uh, obviously would probably work on the purple one. It would work on this one and it would be a backup for these two, right? Um, so I have 10, I think I have 13 of the blue, 15 of each purple and black. And then, like I said, six of these in B-Blast. 
and I have to hold back some for whatever reasons. So I'll probably throw up 10 black, 10 purple, 10 blue, and you know, four or five of the bead blast. So, you know, if you guys are trying to get the hardware, I apologize in advance if they go quickly. I again, I have no idea what's gonna happen. When we place these orders, obviously we're spending a lot of money. And we don't want to just order way too much of stuff. I try to base it on previous orders. And with the mash, it didn't seem like the hardware was too popular. So we didn't go crazy on it with the growler. But then with the growler, you guys bought it all. And we had already ordered these. So we'll see how it goes. I can always place an order maybe for more hardware. If that's something you guys want, just let us know. Just please understand that um, we're doing everything we can to make you guys happy. We're just not, we're not made of money, so we can't just order a million of everything, or we can't know what's going to be the most popular one when we order them. So, you know, it seems like the purple one's really popular, um, but, you know, I would have guessed the stonewash would be the most popular when we ordered them. So it's just, you know, it's just how it goes. So... Um, I hope that helps guys. Um, I do have videos on the knife itself. If you want some uh, more info, I can give you some quick specs. It's got a two and a half inch blade. Uh, sorry, two and a quarter on the blade, two inch cutting edge. That's what I meant to say. Two and a quarter, two inch cutting edge. Overall, I think it's 5.4 inches. Let me get that tip back on there. There we go. Yep, 5.3, 5.4 inches overall. Um, on the uh, thickness, it's somewhere around half an inch, I think. Maybe 0.47-ish. Just zero this out. Should be 0.47 if I remember correctly. There you go. 0.467 on that. We can check a tie one here. 0.47, so... Um, the weight, again, 2.8 on the tie, 1.8 to 2 ounces on the carbon fiber. They all have steel liners that are as milled out as we could get them for weight relief. Um, because we were doing uh, carbon fiber and titanium, we just had to stick with liners on both sides. Um, obviously, the, the goal would be to have a linerless side on this one. Uh, but it just made sense for production. We would have had to have ordered a whole new run to do um, linerless. Plus, it's 2.8 ounces. It's still light as heck. Um, they feel fantastic in the hand. I got to say, um, for such a small knife, it really does feel extremely comfortable in the hand. Now, obviously, this is uh, my company and everything with Colin. But this was, um, you know, I had the idea to do a micro knife. And then Colin kind of spit this out. And then, of course, we always go back and forth and tweak from there. But this is sort of Colin's brainchild. So it's easy for me. I say this all the time with those. It's easier for me to be like, damn, this is amazing. Uh, I can sort of praise it more because it's not my sort of design, right? It's not my base design. It was his. Um, if it was mine, I feel weird because, you know, the self-promoting thing and everything. Uh, which, you know, I have such a hard time with. But anyway, it's super comfortable in the hand as long as you choke up. If you choke back, you know, obviously it's a small knife. But it's meant for this. I can get a full grip with a large glove size hand and then some. Um, and this spot right here is nicely rounded. So you can rest your thumbs up here, your thumb up there, your index finger. It's an amazing utility blade. You do have a flipper tab that is nice and tucked and actually hidden when it's open. Beautiful lock bar access, um, so you can get in there, disengage, it drops and shakes. They do take a little bit of time to break in. They are small knives. Um, so, you know, just give it a day or two to break in. Um, usually, you'll get it to where it can shake like this, and, um, you know, they're good. I think I Loctited these two, or super glued these two. Maybe all of them, but I did not take them apart, I don't think. I might have done one disassembly on this one, and I can't remember if I put skiffs in it. Um, but I actually don't have skiffs in the ones I carry. Um, those look like stock bearings. I think I left the stock bearings in because 
it feels amazing on the stock bearings. It really does. I mean, you can see the action. So I really didn't feel the need. Um, if you guys are wondering on the detent stuff, because you know I'm a nerd about that, and uh, yeah. So the carbon fiber ones and the stonewash ones are all very similar, I would say. Um, they're on the medium side. So don't expect these to rip your finger off, okay? Um, you do. It does take a minute to get used to the knife. Um, at first, you might kind of pinch it like this and fail it, and then you think the detent's terrible. But you just have to light switch it like that. I do like doing a kind of push switch where I push and pull at the same time. Reverse flick is great. I can uh, thumb flick these when I'm, there we go, I can thumb flick them. Um, you just have to kind of get under there and it takes a second to get it, get in the zone on the thumb flick. But um, I'm just thumbing it right now and hitting that spot right there. Uh, but the reverse flick is super easy. Left-handed, super easy. I've never tried a lefty thumb flick. There you go. You got to kind of wrist it out. It's just so small. It's like hard to even hold it. But give it a little wrist, it'll fly out of there. Um, but yeah, that reverse flick is money. And then the flipper tab's great. Uh, I will say when we QC'd them, the uh, black one here, the all blackout one, did seem to have the strongest of the detents. So if you're just looking for pure detent, um, that's all you care about. You know, maybe the black one is the one you want. Um, it's They just consistently have a stronger pop. And I think it's because of the coating on the blade. So that coating adds a little bit of thickness uh, for the detent, which is nice, right? Um, satin usually is the next in line in terms of how they feel strength-wise. And then stonewash is always... Just slightly softer because it's stonewashed. It's all softened, right? Um, but they all feel great. I've carried all four of these, and um, I've really enjoyed them. They, you know, just a small knife, so you have to get used to it. Give it, give it a little bit of time, um, and learn to flick it and everything. Because at first you'll fat finger it. You'll kind of like do this and get caught in there trying to. Because you just, it's just so small, right? Um, but once you learn, it's absolutely a blast to fidget with. People at the show were absolutely in love with these. Um, so I think it is pretty intuitive. And uh, yeah, I think that's it, guys. There you go. That is the Devo Knives Nip. And it is dropping tomorrow, 1019 at 1 p.m. Eastern. I'll link everything I can down below. Uh, and again, I'll put the code TPK NIP down for 10%. And then you can use your favorite codes for Devo knives and White Mountain knives, 175 across the board. And guys, we appreciate your support. Uh, whether you pick one up or you don't, just all the support, the love, the feedback, we really appreciate it. I appreciate it. And um, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.